In this video, we are going to use Hugging Face plus Fast API plus Docker containers to create the simple sentiment classification app within 10 minutes. And we are not going to use anything fancy and we are going to write less than 15 to 20 lines of code. Let's see how we can do that. So guys, in this sentiment classification app in 10 minutes, right? We are going to see the components first, okay? What are the components we'll be using? Then we are going to see the coding part and then we are going to see the next steps, okay? So first of all, what are the important components that we will be using as part of this project? First of all, if you are not aware, right? There is something in Hugging Face known as Transformer and inside that there is something known as Pipe. Okay, let me show you that. So if you go to Hugging Face page, right? Here you can see the pipelines, okay? So pipelines are great and easy way to use model for inference. So you have to do nothing much if you have Hugging Face installed. You can simply go here and you can say import pipeline. And in this pipeline, if you import text classification module, right? Or sentiment classification, you can simply say one input and this pipeline will give you output saying level is positive and score is this. So this is basically a uh, inference setup that Hugging Face is giving you ready to use. Okay. So this I will use as my inference part. Okay. So I'm writing here. This is how my architecture will look like. Okay. So Hugging Face, I will say inference. Inference. Now, I'm not going to use this like I showed you now. I'm not going to use in Python. I'm not going to call it like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it through an API. So I will just wrap it with an API. Okay. On top of this, there will be an API which will be calling this. Okay. So this red box, you can think of this red box as API. And as I told you, fast API, we will be using for the API purposes. Now, some of you may not be aware of fast API concept or the API concept to say. So if you go to unfold data science, right? If you search for API on Google, unfold data science, you get this first video, build your first API in 10 minutes, right? Very, very simple video, but it will tell you what APIs are and how to build a simple API, including fast API that we are going to use now. Okay. So if you are new to this concept, then learn about it. API is nothing fancy. It is just about, you know, calling some pre-built methods and functions and getting the responses. Okay. So we will call our inference through the fast API API. And one more layer we are going to add on top of this. All these things will run inside a Docker container. Okay. So here I am writing Docker container, the black box. Okay. So let me write here Docker container. Now, some of you who is aware of Docker basic concepts will know that Docker container is, is you know, a virtual box inside which a Docker image runs, right? And what is a Docker image, if you ask me? Docker image is basically a bundle of all your codes and dependencies, okay? Now, I'm sure some of you are not aware of Docker concept. So, I'm just going to, usually I don't do this guys, but I'm going to show you there is one Unfold Data Science course on Docker. If you are interested, you can take this. Docker for beginners is one course. If you go to unfolddatascience.com, in the advanced section, you can see Docker for beginners. If you are new to the world of Docker, CI, CD, uh, ML Ops, right? This will help you a lot. So you can go ahead and understand Docker concept. Basically what Docker is, Docker is nothing but a way to uh, keep everything in a virtual box and run so that environment dependencies are not there. Okay. So if I migrate my code from one environment to other, all the dependencies are packed inside that box so that I don't need to worry about the dependencies, etc. Okay. So here three key components, hugging face interface, the API and the Docker container. Let me go to Visual Studio code and show you how the code is written. Okay. So first of all, guys, if I want to write anything inside uh, fast API, right? I need to write inside this line number seven that you see here. Okay, let me walk you through the code first. So from fast API, I'm importing fast API. From Pydantic, I'm importing base model because I will be calling my base model. Um, uh, on top of that, I'll be calling my actual what I want to do. Okay. And from transformer, I'm importing my pipeline. So I already showed you in Hugging Face page. Okay. So this is my pipeline sentiment pipe and app I'm creating fast API. Just to show you what 
what this pipeline will do, right? I am passing two statements here. I don't love you and I don't hate you. Okay. And I'm saying print sentiment pipe data. Okay. I'm just saying this much. Now, let me go ahead and run this script first and let's see what happens. So if I run this script, right, you will be seeing that for those two statements that I have given, right? For those two statements, uh, it will give me the output or it will give me the response because I'm saying print me the response for those two statements. Just to see the format of response, I want to show you this, okay? So as you can see here, my first statement is I don't love you, which is a negative statement. And second statement is I don't hate you, which is kind of a positive statement. So as you can see here, whatever I'm highlighting, first is negative with score 88%, second is positive with a score 87%. So that is what this sentiment pipe is doing, okay? It takes any statement and gives me the output. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a function so that I can wrap it inside my fast API. So here, what I'm doing here, I'm using a decorator and I'm putting this, this I've already explained in fast API video. So not going in more details of this. What I'm doing is I'm simply saying, take my string and give me the output in this format. Okay. So whatever sentiment you saw that I'm putting inside sentiment category, whatever number percentage you saw that I'm putting inside score for sentiment. Okay. If you want to understand this, that video is very good for you. The the first video that I showed you, okay, API in 10 minutes. Now, this is my app.py, okay? So this is basically my app, first API app. Now, as I told you, um, here, I'm using inside Hugging Face in inference, first API, this red box is done. Now, everything should go inside a Docker image, the black box, okay? So let's come here, I have a Docker file here. In that Docker file, I am using Python, I'm saying the normal format of Docker, copy everything to app, run my dependencies, expose 8000, and then command I'm calling is uvcon API host and port number. Now, I can't explain all these things, guys. If you want to understand details of Docker, as I told you, you need to go through either that course or somewhere, you know, you need to learn the basics of Docker, okay? So now what I need to do is, first of all, there are two steps in running a Docker image. First of all, you create a Docker image and then you run that image, okay? So how do you do that is basically using two commands. The first command that you see here, docker build t sentiment app dot, right? If I run this here, right, what will happen is docker image will get built, okay? So if I run this, right, docker image will get, will get built. But this image building will take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it now. I'm going to stop it now because I have already run this and built the image. So how to see the image? If I say Docker image is right, it will show me this image. Okay. So sentiment app Aman is what I had created some two hours back. So this is my Docker image. Now I want to run this image. So if I, when I run this, right, what will happen is in the, in the browser, right? I should be able to see a web page for that. Okay, so that is how fast API works because I'm using UVCon. So localhost 8000 docs, I should be able to see one, uh, one place where I can input my text sentences, okay? Right now that is not running, so it is not showing up. Let me go here and run that, okay? So let me go to Visual Studio and say Docker run, Docker run. I have run this in past, so I'm using the same command. So what I'm saying here, Docker run, on port 8080000 sentiment app Aman latest. So it will pick this image, okay, and it will run. Now, if I go to the browser and I try to refresh this, right? Sometimes it takes some time because it has been started now only, right? So as you can see, when I refresh the page, right, this localhost 8000 docs is working, okay? And what I can do here is I can just simply go and click to post. And here there will be option for trying. So I will say try it out, okay? And here I give my sentence. For example, I am having a bad day, bad day today, okay? And I will say execute. When I say execute, what it will do is it will call that hugging face pipe and it will give me the response here. See here, sentiment category is negative and score for sentiment is 99, whatever, triple nine, okay? Now let's write something else. I'm having a average day today, but I don't like weather. Okay, so I will execute this. 
and then let's see what happens. So I'm executing this and it tells me negative sentiment with score for sentiment is 0 0.7689, okay? So as you can see here, I'm able to use a fast API uh, web URL and I'm able to get my um, sentiment responses. And what is working in the background is the hugging face pipe module or the transformer, okay? So here, what three things we did, I already explained you in the beginning and in you know less than less than 15 20 lines of code right we are able to do this so it's pretty simple to do in requirement.txt all my packages are there which which needs to be installed in app.py my python code main python code is available and in docker file there is a format of docker file in which you can create the docker file so if you create like this the docker image will get created which which can be run inside the container okay now this this image is running suppose i want to stop it so i will just say docker ps docker ps will give me what all containers are running and once i have the container id right i can simply go ahead and kill this 2 2 e i am taking this this id okay somehow it is not getting copy pasted 2 e 1 3 d 2 b 6 2 a b 1 okay so if I say Docker stop, right, it will stop that. And now if I go ahead and try to use this here because my container is not running, so it will not allow me to do that. Okay, so you can say can't stop the page. So I hope you understood the concept, guys. And please drop me a comment if you like this video. And please let me know what are the next topics you are interested in. See you all in the next video, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.